Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, I thought I'd do this video. This is a little going to be a little bit different. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, as you can see, this uh, is an Ubuntu GNOME installation. Um, and as you can see, I have all of the normal stuff. I have Banshee, Calculator, Google Chrome, Firefox, Geary, Gthumb, Kodi, Pale Moon Browser. I have the Updater, Ubuntu Software Center, Thunar File Manager, uh, a Terminal, Steam, Play on Linux, Sound Configurator, Pigeon, and the Trash. Up top, I have the Redshift that I spoke about in another video, P Sensor, where I can monitor temperatures, uh, Clip It, Caffeine. Wi-Fi, English keyboard, my Bluetooth working fine, mail, battery, and the battery is a clue, is the uh, volume, the date, time, I've got my applications, and places. Okay, so nothing unusual unless of course I tell you that this happens to be a Chromebook this is my uh, Acer C720 uh, which I am thrilled with now I've had this for a few months and I uh, first uh, ran just the uh, Google Chrome uh, software that came with the Chromebook then I got a little brave and decided to do the uh, uh, Ubuntu, um, and I installed Linux side by side, and I could cycle back and forth. But after about three or four weeks, I realized that I wasn't going back to the Chrome OS. I was pretty much staying with Linux because it has everything. Uh, that Chrome OS has plus um, it has a lot of things that Chrome can't handle so I decided to bite the bullet and uh, format the hard drive um, basically you need to put the Chromebook into developer mode which is a, uh, a Google OS function you you put it into developer mode which lets you get at the uh, at the BIOS and so you you put the Chromebook in developer mode and then you load or you activate CBIOS which hap happens to be a legacy BIOS and there are plenty of instructions online I uh, pulled up a few followed them very easy uh, just if, if you're going to do it uh, if you have any questions at one, you know, once you decide to tackle it, uh, post the questions in the comment section of this video, um, and I'll do what I can to help you out. But uh, as long as you go step by step, uh, there is a step that requires taking the back off the Chromebook and uh, removing a um, right protect screw. Uh, again, it's really easy. It sounds more difficult than it really is. You, if you once you get the screws out of the back um, and you if you pop just one corner of the back the rest of it comes off pretty easy you take the screw out uh, and then put the back back on do your uh, do your work to the hard drive and the oh and by the way speaking of hard drive I changed the hard drive it comes with a I believe a 16 gig hard drive and I bought a uh, an aftermarket uh, 120 gig um, which I installed so I have 120 gig I have four gigs of RAM uh, and so this flies this absolutely flies it runs anything I throw at it I'm running right now I'm running GUVC view I'm running simple screen recorder and this thing will not even hiccup it, it is it's it's amazing but if I can offer a word of advice, if you're going to install uh, Linux full time on your Chromebook, um, pick a, a, a current distribution. Um, 
for example, I'm running Ubuntu GNOME 1504. Uh, the reason is that the newer, uh, the newer distributions have the newer kernel. They've got the newest uh, hardware configurators, and everything works out of the box. The trackpad, the Bluetooth, the keys on the keyboard are are uh, mapped properly, so your uh, plus and minus volume keys work fine. Your plus and minus brightness keys work fine. Everything is mapped properly. So uh, I did try to go with uh, an older distribution um, with the 1404 uh, and a, I think a 3.13 kernel, uh, and it had some issues. And so uh, I had to wipe the hard drive and redo the uh, installation. And that's how I ended up putting Ubuntu GNOME 1504. It runs rock solid. It is absolutely fantastic. So uh, guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. As you can see, pretty much everything works. I've got Conkey Manager. Um, as I said, I've got a 120 gig hard drive, four gigs of RAM, you can pick up the Acer C720 now for, I believe, under 200 bucks. Uh, and wow, it's a fantastic laptop once you get it configured with Linux. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and if you, if, you, if you need any advice, I'll be certainly willing to help. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, give me the thumbs up and uh, like it and uh, subscribe, please. Uh, I'd appreciate that. So until next time, take care, guys.